Hello YouTubers. Uh, right, today I'm going to do like a, a little quick video on this. It's my, um, you know, last ditch pouch, dear corn, something like that, you know, like. <coughs> Basically, it's just like a, a little pack that I put together with a few little essential items that would get me through some rough times or, you know, if I was lost or whatever or out camping in a, you know, I had to ditch absolutely everything. I, I'd just keep this one little thing on my belly. Well, to be honest, I when I'm even around town and things like that going anywhere it's always in the, the side pocket of my Maxvision Fat Boy Versi Pack. Uh, it just fits in this side pocket nicely and it's like I say it's got lot of, lots of little useful things like you know you might need. Right so um, I don't have a tripod yet so I'm just going to have to sort of uh, I'll pick the camera up in a minute and unpack this and show you what I've got in here what I keep in here. Right here we go. Let's grab you. Right, okay, this is the, the pack. It's um, a little Carhartt one that I've had for a few years. Um, you know, like I st stitched a little belt loop on the back there. Uh, but, I, you know, it's rare that I put it on my belt because, as I say, it's usually in the side pocket of my bag. Right then, in here, on top, we have a mirror. Uh, vanity reasons, if you will, or more for signaling, to be honest. Or, you know, like, say, if I uh, got a cut somewhere. I was struggling to see on my back, whatever. Well, it actually, it came in really useful while I was away a couple of weeks ago and I got a tick in my back. I had to use this mirror while I was out in the middle of nowhere to uh, remove the tick. So, a little emergency tea light candle. Everyone should have one of those. <laughs> a little razor blade. I'm f I've been trying to find the ones, you know, like the cool little handle on top, you know. These are the ones that go in them um, shavers, like the double headed shavery things, but I, I can't, yeah, I can't find the ones with little handles. I don't know if they sell them in the UK at all anymore, you know. But they're, they're much better, but it's easy to make a handle out of one of those, out of like a a twig and a little bit of fishing line or whatever. But uh, yeah, inside the pack I keep this can, you know, just, uh, I could boil a bit of water in there, cook a bit of food, something like that. Inside the can we have a little sewing kit. In here I've got um, a few air rifle pellets from when I used to shoot pea shooters. You know, they're, I keep them in there for fishing reasons, you know. could use them as lead shot to, to weight line down. Wrapped around here I've got about, it doesn't look like it, but there's, I think there's around 30, 40 feet of fishing line. Little emergency sewing kit in there. Um, like a bit of polystyrene taped up with lots of different size sewing needles and some thread. In here there's some buttons, little safety pins, more thread, big safety pin. Um, in here this is some little bandages. Yeah, uh, two tiny little bandages, some gauze and uh, a wet wipe wrapped up in a tiny bag. A miniature, a miniature ferro rad, rod, sorry, ferrocene rod is it? It used to be one of them ones that's attached to like, you know, like the magnesium block. But the, I, I really, you know, personally I don't find any benefit whatsoever from the magnesium. Uh, so I just removed that and it, this is like a spare one, you know. I've got my main one that I use all the time and I've never really, really even had to use this one. But it, it's good to have spares. A little bit of sandpaper good if you have to make tools while you're outside or whatever, you know, like emergency tools, sort of sand the handles down, it'll, you know. A uh, bit of toilet roll. Uh, a bag, <laughs> an empty bag. Um, a little, is this a, yeah, this is a P58, isn't it, can opener. They're really, really good can openers. In fact, I use one of those in my kitchen. Um, some nails. You know, like some, a selection of small nails, probably about 15, 15 nails. Just good, again, for if you're making something, you can sort of pin things in place, whatever, you know. Well, nails got endless use, use to say. Uh, this is like a little, it's like a little sharpening stone that I got with my Dremel multi-tool, you know. It's, it was designed for sharpening the, um, like the, the accessories for the Dremel, but I keep it in here. Um, and right in the very bottom of the can... Oh, this is going to be difficult. I'm just going to have to. No. Well, I, yeah, I don't need to take it out. But right in the very bottom of the can, I don't know if you can see in there, there's uh, about five, six feet of wire coiled up. 
so that's what's in there and then in the rest of the pack we have a couple of plasters just a couple of waterproof plasters and one of these uh, RLB brush ups, you know, like uh, a little toothbrush that you put on your finger, it's all like minty and whatnot. Uh, a couple of condoms, um, a few moist cleansing wipes, a few Nicorette patches, you know, like uh, I'm a smoker myself, but I'm trying to quit. But even if I do quit, I'm still going to keep these in there for if I'm with somebody who is a smoker and we're stranded, you know, this could help calm the situation because, you know, like small things like not having, well, I mean, something small like not having any tobacco or a cigarette or whatever, it may seem small, but in a survival type situation or a stranded situation, you know, all, the, all these little things of discomfort add up to one mega pain in the bum of discomfort. discomfort. And what else is in here? Just a, a few of these um, pre-injection sterilization swabs. They're really good tinder if you, you know, they're because of the alcohol and you know if you get a cut, graze, whatever uh, yeah, you know, good to clean up, clean yourself up with and that's what I keep in there right, you'll, make, you'll probably be thinking what, you know, there's no little blade in there or anything except for the uh, the razor blade but like, like I say, it's in my pack and I always have this little um, Versi pack on me anyway and on here, I, as you can see, I keep my Olay M20 banging flashlight really good flashlight, it's like the best EDC light I've, I've ever had that's why I, why I carry this one as an EDC one um, I use it with a 18650 battery so I get ridiculous um, t like le um, times out of it you know this is, this is this, the power cell it takes, you can put two CR123's in there if you wish but you just get a lot longer run time out of them but yeah, anyway there is no showing you my bag was because I always keep this Leatherman Kick you now just a uh, standard Leatherman Kick damn good multi-tool though, you know, like cheap, affordable well, about 40 quid I paid for it uh, I've actually broke one already, they replaced it within the same week for me I snapped the one of the one of the plier heads off by cutting through like a a really, well I'd cut through several 9 inch in length nails and on the last one it, it, it they snapped and I sent, you know, I thought I was honest, I told them what I did and they replaced it for me anyway. And this obviously has like um, a little blade on it, you know. And on my keys, which are in the door, so I'm not going to show you them, I keep a, a Gerber clutch, you know, like a tiny to mini multi-tool, and that's got a little blade on it as well. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, you know, I've, I've got like a, a little knife blade on there, so, like I say, I don't need to carry a miniature spy spider curl ladybug or whatever, is it? In, in in this little pack with me so yeah there's my little last ditch pack and its contents i hope you enjoyed this and whatnot cool thanks for watching bye bye